Welcome! This video will demonstrate how to use Excel's Pivot Table tool to create cross tabulations for both categorical and quantitative data. Let's take a look at this spreadsheet for a moment. This is the same data I used in a previous video to create frequency distributions. There are a lot of variables here, some categorical and some numerical. This data is for 50 students. We have their major, their grade, their gender, and so on. Let's say we are interested in the first two variables, major and grade. Major is, of course, a categorical variable. Grade is quantitative. So to start, let's select the two columns with the variables we want to examine. That is columns B and C. Now let's choose Insert, Pivot Table, and a dialog box pops up with the table range filled in as dollar sign $B through dollar sign $C. I have rows 1 through 51 selected for columns B and C. We have a new worksheet selected, so that's good. Now press OK. All right, here is a new worksheet sheet 2 and it has the pivot table fields on the right hand side ready for us to fill in. Notice on the bottom right there are the various fields. We have filters, columns, rows, and values. Just as we did in the previous video to create a frequency distribution, we need to start by selecting a variable. Let's use the variable grade on exam for the rows. Click on the variable grade on exam and drag it down to the area where it says rows. Now we have a bunch of grades. We'll need to group these into categories. If you watch the video to create frequency distributions, you'll remember we have to group the data. So right click anywhere in column A, scroll down to where it says group. By default, Excel groups the data from the lowest value to the highest value and then by 10. Let's leave the interval at 10. But remember, you can calculate the width of the interval by taking the range divided by the number of class groupings. The range is 99 minus 55, that's the highest number minus the lowest number, and that's 44. So the range is 44, and let's say we want 5 class groupings, so we would divide that by 5. 44 divided by 5 is 8.8. .8. The width of the interval is 8.8. .8. And if we round that up to a reasonable number, we would use 10 as an interval. So let's keep 10. But let's change the lowest value to 50 and the highest value to 100. This way we'll have the grades grouped from 50 to 59, 60 to 69, and so on. All right, now click OK. You can see the data is now grouped the way we want it. If you want, you can change the labels. Click in A3 where it says Row Labels. And let's type grades instead. Now here is where we create a cross tabulation rather than a frequency distribution. A cross tabulation looks at the data by cross classifying two variables instead of just one. We already have grades as the rows, so we'll add an additional variable for the columns. Let's use a categorical variable for that. Let's use major. So we drag major down to the area that says columns. And now we need to add values, so drag grade down to the values area. And now we have a contingency table or cross classification table with grades for rows and major for columns. Notice there are blank spaces where there's no data. You can leave it like that or you can change it by right clicking anywhere in the table. Scroll down to where it says pivot table options. Click. And then here, where it says, for empty cells show, put a zero, click OK. And now you have zeros instead of blank spaces, which I think makes it look better. Your choice. Now back to the cross tabulation table. The way you see it now, it's with count data, or what is called frequency counts. We can also look at the data by percentages in three different ways. We can look at the data in terms of overall percentage. 
which divides every cell by the grand total. Or we can look at the data in terms of row percentages, which divides the data in each row by the row total. And third, we can look at the data in terms of column percentages, which divides the data in each column by that column's total. So let's start with calculating overall percentages. Right-click anywhere in the table. Click on Show Values As. Then choose Percent of Grand Total. And you have it. This is the calculation for the overall percentages where each number is divided by the grand total. OK, now how to calculate row percentages. Easy, just right click again, scroll to show values as, then choose percent of row total, and now you can see the percentages are out of the row total. Finally, let's see how to calculate column percentages. That would be out of the column totals. Again, right click anywhere in the table, scroll to show values as, then choose percent of column total, and now you have the percentages of each column total. One last thing I want to show you, we always say a picture is worth a thousand words, so let's make a chart out of this. Click anywhere in the table and go to insert, then recommended chart, and you can see the various charts that might work with this data. Here is a clustered column chart. It really helps to visualize the data better. I hope this helps you to understand how to use Excel's Pivot Table tool to create cross tabulations. Thank you for watching. Bye.